best friends Paula Rito and Amelia Lewis have this thing figured out. Playing four ball on Thursday, they followed up their first round 65 with a second round 61. I mean, we look forward to this event all year. Yeah. We, we plan it like in January what outfits we're going to wear and um, we're just looking forward to tomorrow and just this, this whole week. Yeah. And then um, we'll, we'll, you know, have our walk up song and enjoy that music. They lead the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational by one at 14 under. So with two days down in Midland, Michigan, let's talk about Thursday. I'm Hope Barnett and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. Paula won in 2022 at the KPKC Women's Open, but this is only Amelia's second start on the LPGA this year. It feels great. I mean, I've been playing great golf all year, so it's nice mm -hmm. to, to see that up top and to have a partner that's been there before too, kind of guiding me. Um, it, it, it's a good feeling. She's been playing more on Epson Tour recently, so this week could be huge for the 32-year-old. In at T2 are the teams of Matilda Castron and Kelly Tan, and Jody Ewart Shadoff and Emma Talley. With six birdies on their front nine, I'm surprised Jody and Emma didn't need someone out there to cool them off. Jody threw this one close on 10, and they would go on to fire a second round 10 under. And this is the duo I didn't know I needed. Well, honestly, don't know <laughs> what do we talk about. <laughs> Just like random stuff. Yeah, I talk more. <laughs> yeah. Um... What are we talking about? I don't You're even agreeing. know. <laughs> You're agreeing that she talks more though, right? Was that uh, what Yeah, you probably. <laughs> yeah. I'd be trying to get away and she'd be running back. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, I just don't want her to be alone, you know. <laughs> and if having fun is a direct correlation to going low, then I feel like major champ Yuka Sasso and three-time tour winner Celine Boutier should just keep doing what they're doing. Celine rolled in this birdie on five, which was then sealed with a fist bump. And Yuka had this tee shot on seven, where it nearly went in. Well, we're accessible hole location today. Yeah. This one looks good, Jim, if it's enough. Oh, it's enough. Oh, my. Go. Let's check out some other good shots from round two. Porton on Patlam stuck this approach on nine right next to the hole. That was a moment ago, and it was a wonderful shot. And the Solheim Cup Team USA captain watching. was just inches away from holding out. Fun, Colin Stacy shots today. She hit a great shot there. I have a feeling she's going to be the first to hit. Let's roll that back. So with two rounds left to go here in Midland, be sure to catch the third round on Peacock and Golf Channel, and come back right here to watch LPGA now.